Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today I'd like to talk to you a little about um, ideas of labor and what we consider labor, especially women. I think this is uh, a deeply important issue because often we are doing labor and it is not viewed as labor by those who are around us. First of all, there's this level of emotional or invisible labor, wherein the vast majority of women are often those who are directing the emotional dynamic of the relationship or of their particular household, wherein they are the ones who feel responsible for the emotional temperature of how everyone is feeling. This takes a great deal of energy in terms of personal stress, um, you know, you have to be potentially more aware. You often put your needs uh, secondary to the other people who are inhabiting your household. So there's the invisible emotional labor, right? Second thing that women are doing that we often forget is labor is the stuff that's assigned as domestic tasks. For some reason, it is assumed because one has a certain physical body characteristic that we must enjoy domestic tasks such as cleaning, cooking, folding, scrubbing, which in short adds up, at least for the average American woman, to 10 to 15 hours more of labor than the vast majority of their partners. Okay? So, this kind of thing that we traditionally do is not even viewed as labor. For women who fail to perform this task, we often feel inadequate as if this is an assault on what it means to be a woman, as if being a woman would require us to enjoy engaging in such acts. I am not sure why um, particular body parts would be more inclined to engage in this, but there is a direct correlation and assumption. We can also look at labor this way. Since we are really paid, at least in, in the US, about 80 cents to the average $1 a male makes, um, we're simply laboring longer in every capacity, wherein um, so that we are unable to recognize why we feel fatigue, why we might feel frustrated. What is it that we're trying to do um, by laboring so long? What, why are we not as successful as we think? If you are only making 80 cents to someone's dollar, you have to labor a lot more to simply even start on the same level playing field. There's no equity, right? So I'm just simply asking you in this YouTube video to think about all the ways that you labor. How do you labor emotionally? What do you do that you dismiss as, oh, it simply has to get done, but actually counts as labor? You know, sweeping the kitchen floor, mopping, scrubbing a bathtub, doing the laundry. And thirdly, Take a look around and think about it. Are you being paid the same amount that another person, a male, is possibly being paid more for? What kind of qualifications do you have versus this other individual? Hmm, have a think about it. Then assess where you are and why you are in this position and why you might feel simply frustrated. Chances are, you feel tired, fatigued, stressed, or frustrated because you're not thinking about all these things that you're doing, right? Okay, that's it. It's a little bit of self-reflection. Have a great day. If you like this video, please subscribe and sign up for my Woman Warrior Writer Substack newsletter. Aloha, cheers.